So first, we're going to make guacamole. Oh. So I've got here two avocados. And avocados are apparently technically a fruit. Yes. Uh, they're full of healthy fats and oil. Uh, but you really want to make sure this is the good, the good color on them. And if you see a little bit of brown on the end, you can just cut that off. And uh, my lovely wife will show you a trick to get the, uh, the little ball out of the center. So I'll just use a spoon and you can just scoop it out. Now this is perfectly ripe, which is going to be fantastic. So, now uh, extreme caution. Especially if you have kids around. So you put your knife in, twist, and it pops right out. So then I use my spoon, I'm going to get that out, and then we're going to do this all over again with the second one. And once your avocados uh, are ripe, you really want to use them up rather quickly because if not, they can go bad quite quickly. Yes. Which is unfortunate. And uh, we tried freezing them last year and that, that didn't work out so really well. really didn't work out very well. <laughs> no. Not at all. And guys, if uh, you notice brown spots and holes in the avocados, let's just say something other than you was feeding off of the avocado, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yes. May not want to eat it just in case. And if it's browning or blackening, you, you don't want to eat it. We've been to one grocery store where we would buy avocados like over and over again and they'd always be that context and we just gave up for a while. So now I'm just, with a fork, I'm just mashing these. This guacamole normally has a pretty, it's not very smooth, I mean I'm, I suppose we could run a blender or a hand mixer through it, but I'm not going to. I don't see the need. I want it to be rustic, I want it to be I want it to have texture. It all depends on how you like it. Absolutely, absolutely. Folks, if you do want to run a hand mixer through it, by all means, go for it. And uh, one thing I'll say is uh, anything my wife makes, I like to eat. <laughs> all right. Now, next on the list is red onion. Which I chopped up. So we're just gonna add a bit of red onion. And one thing we always encourage with all uh, the products we buy, we always try to encourage buying non-GMOs. You can look up how to tell the difference on, on the internet. And uh, we always try and buy local as possible. And depending on where you are and which parts of the world, uh, you might actually have to buy organic. And just one tip, um, we're taught to think that uh, eating healthy is not only time consuming but expensive, which isn't always the case. They would like us to think so, so that we buy all their easy, ready, processed food. And um, that that's just about what I'd say. If you can buy things from a farmer's market or whatever in your area, that's a better option, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. By buying from a farmer's market, you're supporting that farmer. You're keeping that local business in business so that the more people that buy from local farms the more chances that local farmers will have to survive and we started this cooking channel to teach you guys that you can eat healthy uh, and cook good meals even on a budget I mean one thing we never sacrifice is eating healthy I mean we've been on a budget up until recently for the past five years almost and um, Long story short, it got to a point where we were buying food on a credit card, but we never spent a fortune and uh, we always ate well, wouldn't you say, A? Absolutely. When we were eating steak and chocolate cake and all kinds of good stuff, and people would wonder how in the name of heaven would we do that. So now I'm just adding a clove of garlic. And garlic has a lot of nutritional value, doesn't it? Definitely has anti-fungal properties. And plus, it just adds to the flavor of this guacamole. All right. Next on the list is a tomato. I'm going to add half a tomato because 
I want to save the other half of the tomato for the quick salsa that I'm going to make for this dish. Now, always with a tomato, use a serrated knife. And a serrated knife, as you can see, has edges. Or teeth, I like to call them. Always use a serrated knife on tomatoes because the skin on a tomato will dull a regular knife. And you, we bought all our, our, uh, a lot of our utensils uh, in cutlery at a discount store. Yes. When it comes to knives, however, I would recommend spending that extra bit of money for a decent sharp knife it will not fail you. I bought a chef's knife once for seven dollars and that chef's knife lasted me for two years. Only seven dollars? Wow. Seven dollars and it lasted for two years so knife, sharp knives in the kitchen will get you way better results and that's the one thing you'll and it actually works itself out because you'll be able to afford better knives with all the money you're saving on groceries. I do apologize if the uh, camera shakes a little bit. We are on our tablet. We are eventually going to get a proper video camera so uh, we can be uh, as best as we can be. But for right now we're just doing our thing. We just want to share with you. Uh, you've been in some pretty tight places uh, before we met, haven't you, eh? I have been. I have. I learned how to cook mostly because I couldn't afford to go out to dinner with my friends. So this is this is apple cider vinegar. I'm going to put in this. I want to use apple cider vinegar because a for its properties. Apple cider vinegar is very good for you. It's alkaline. Uh, sometimes you could even take a tablespoon of it with water. Uh, it helps get rid of any stomach issues. And just make sure you, you buy quality uh, apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna add maybe about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Then... And what does that do with the guacamole? The apple cider vinegar is going to help prevent the avocado from browning and also give it just an extra kick of flavor. Well, I heard they want to make it a uh, GMO apple so that it'll naturally not brown anymore. What do you think of that? I think that's gross. There's no need. Why I've mess with nature? A whole lime. A whole so lime? putting the juice of an entire lime. And limes, uh, you can even make smoothies in them with the juices, teas. Uh, they're very, the lime juice is very good for you along with lemon juice. Everything in the dishes that we're making does have a lot of healing properties which is really really cool. Basically our, our big message is to eat from the earth as much as you possibly can, correct? Definitely, definitely. This, this seems to be the way to go for like, us at this stage in our lives so this is what we're going to do and I found that when we do this there's just so much flavor in the food. It's all about the flavor. It is all about the flavor. So now, and the next thing we're going to add is cilantro. And or it's also referred to as coriander. And what's uh, good about coriander? I heard you can put it in a juice if you have a juicing machine. You can juice coriander. Coriander What does has it look like? It's sort of like parsley, isn't it? It kind of looks like parsley, but you can tell the smell is quite different. And coriander is used a lot in Mexican cooking and also Indian cooking. Ooh. So the coriander is a major staple in what we're going to make today. And if you guys, if you are going to put uh, beef in your uh, dishes or whatever, I, I try and recommend buying it as you know, free range or drug free as possible. I mean, there's around our area, we, we can get uh, drug free meat and uh, that's what we recommend. So now I'm going to add salt and pepper. I've got here 
freshly cracked pepper. And what kind of salt are we adding? This is Himalayan salt. Or Pink. Himala sea salt. Pink salt. All right. And we forgot one key ingredient. Hot sauce. Oh, yes. Now, folks, you can add as little or as a lot as hot sauce as you want. We got this leftover from last night's shawarma dinner. If you have a sensitive stomach you, you will, or uh, acid or uh, ulcers or whatever, you might want to uh, talk to your doctor about using spicy food. Yes. Because uh, they could irritate it. So, this is our guacamole. So you can see guys, it's not quite butter smooth, if you will, but it's still got its rustic look to it. And there's chunks chunky. of tomato and all that. It's Absolutely. almost like a salsa. It is almost like a salsa. Okay. So that's all done. That's done.